Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I've got good news for manufactured homes and everyone looking to buy one. One of the best things about this industry is how manufacturers are able to adapt to changing market conditions to solve the problems that are stopping people from getting new homes. Granted, our current market conditions have been a bit out to lunch, so it might have taken factories a little longer to adapt than it normally would, but as I say, better late than never. What we have to understand is the problems facing home buyers and factories are constantly changing. What solves the problem one year might actually make it worse the next. In a year that homes are readily available and there's a shortage of buyers, a factory might have to sweeten the deal or introduce new options that might be swaying customers to different forms of housing. In a year where there's the perfect amount of manufactured homes being built for the number of people who wanna buy, who am I kidding? That never happens, or if it does, it's for a period of one, possibly two days. What we're seeing right now is there are more buyers than there are homes being built, which has led to backlogs and a whole lot of frustration for anyone trying to buy. The good news is that factories know this and are making the changes to be able to build more homes faster. What I'm gonna do is tell you what changes are coming to manufactured homes, how it will help the shortage, and why it's good news for buyers, so let's do it. Right now, there is a long list of challenges facing the new construction industry. It doesn't matter if you're buying a manufactured home, a site-built home, or a tree fort, there is likely a significant wait before you can actually get whatever you're trying to buy. For example, if I ordered a manufactured home today from the factory I deal with, I wouldn't get it until late summer 2022. I personally think that's the main problem we're dealing with as an industry. People don't wanna wait that long. Sure, we've had and continue to have a few thorns in our side this year, like material shortages, lumber prices, and a labor shortage, but those issues just add to the main problem, not being able to build enough homes for the people trying to buy and getting them built in a reasonable amount of time. This problem has not been flying under the radar within the industry, it's a well-known fact. In the annual investor report from back in June, the CEO of Cavco, the third largest builder of manufactured homes in America, mentioned it in his opening remarks to investors. With excessive backlogs and continued strong order rates, we leave the year with a clear need to increase capacity and production. We expect high levels of demand to persist based on the dramatic housing deficit created by over a decade of undersupply. Speaking of backlogs, just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with, in the annual report it states, The increase in orders outpaced production and raised our home order backlog to April 3rd, 2021 to approximately $603 million in wholesale sales volume, up $479 million from $124 million one year earlier. $603 million in homes to be built backlogged. And that's wholesale value, not retail value. That's a lot of homes. That was a little over four months ago, so the big questions are, has production increased and can it be increased more? If we look at the data, it confirms that yes, manufactured home factories have managed to increase their output by a fairly substantial amount. According to the United States Census Bureau, who track the number of manufactured homes shipped monthly by all factories nationwide, things are picking up. They have their information updated to September of this year, and in that month, there were more homes shipped than the previous six Septembers at 9,000 homes. So far in 2021, up to the end of September, factories have built and shipped 79,100 homes. And if they can continue that pace of building and shipping 9,000 homes per month like they did in September, they'll finish the year around 106,400 homes built. An absolutely massive number. For reference, that will be the highest number of homes shipped in a single year since 2006. Something to think about. If you're currently waiting for a new home, I just got a factory update explaining the changes being implemented to increase efficiency and output even more. The update states, the goal is to increase our capacity to meet the demand and reduce wait times for homes, which is great news for anyone buying a manufactured home because let's be honest, buying something then having to wait eight months, 10 months, a year or more to get it sucks. The factory will be making changes that I mentioned in a video a few months ago that they still had in their back pocket that they could use if the demand continued and backlogs didn't improve. Right now they offer too much and it's slowing them down, so effective immediately buyers will have a few less options to choose from when they're buying their new home. I think this is great news because a lot of the choices available in manufactured homes were introduced when the biggest problem facing the industry was completely different than it is right now. Not that long ago, manufactured home factories were shipping about half the amount of homes they 
they are now, bottoming out in 2009 with an annual shipment of 49,700 manufactured homes. From there, buying didn't exactly bounce back overnight. There were 50,000 homes shipped in 2010, 51,600 in 2011, almost 55,000 in 2012, and it was a gradual climb over the following nine years to get to the levels we're seeing right now. In that time, factories kept offering more to entice people to buy manufactured homes over other types of housing, things like cabinet styles or offering 10 different appliance upgrades because during those years they were building less homes than they were capable of building. They won over buyers annual home shipped increase and the standard in manufactured homes is now way more choices than is probably necessary or efficient. As I mentioned, the biggest problem facing the industry now is too much demand for production, so a logical step is to streamline the process by offering less. The first things to go are going to be some cabinet choices and a bunch of appliance upgrades. They aren't implementing this change to make manufactured homes less appealing in hopes of less people ordering. They're doing it to make the entire process more efficient to be able to increase output. The update states, another factor restricting our production capacity is material supply. Offering too many choices is leading to some material shortages. This makes perfect sense to me. If offering too many choices is restricting production capacity in a time where the customer's biggest concern is getting a new manufactured home in a reasonable amount of time, offer less. Another change being made is to the production pay system to enhance the ability of workers to earn more if they meet or exceed weekly production goals. By increasing incentives to work hard and keep the factory running like a well-oiled machine, the people building the homes will have the opportunity to earn more money for the time, which is a win for them, a win for the factory, and a win for the customer because they can get a home faster. Win, win, win. I think this is another great idea and hopefully factories will be able to increase from 9,000 homes shipped per month to 10,000. Let's get some houses out the door, people. Manufactured home factories are making changes to increase output to try and meet the high demand in our current market. This is great news for customers because it means there is a really good chance that wait times for new homes will shorten and hopefully everyone waiting for a new home will be able to get it sooner. One of the best things about the manufactured home industry, in my opinion, is its ability to adapt to market conditions quickly to be able to serve the highest priority needs of the customer. Changes might have been implemented a bit slower this time around because there was just so much stuff going on that required immediate attention to keep the machine running. I think these recent changes will increase home output and the people who aren't willing or able to wait a year for a new home will be able to get something faster. If any other significant changes are made, you already know where I'll be posting the information here. I'll be posting the information right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.